What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is Zer Day, and Zer is located on Titan. And he is in the rig. So let's go find out what he has this week. I Zer, what's up dude? The nine C. So, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. The weapon of the week is the Monte Carlo, which is an exotic auto rifle. Then we have Orpheus Rig for the Hunter, um, Actium War Rig for the Titan, as well as the Verity's Brow for the Warlock. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. Change the perk on this is Monte Carlo Method, which dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability with each kill. Then we have Fluted Barrel, High Caliber Rounds, uh, Markov Chain, which this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Melee kills grant ammo for this weapon. Then we have Composite Stock, and then obviously Wonderful Infusions. It does have ornaments, I actually don't have any, but that's okay. So, this is an okay exotic. I do see it in PvP, but a little bit more in PvE. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate this maybe a tier 2.5 in PvP, but definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Um, it is definitely a good exotic to use, but I don't know. I haven't actually uh, used it pretty much. Uh, if you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. That way you guys can go ahead and check that out. Next, we have the Orpheus Rigs. Change of perk on this is Uncanny Arrows, which provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Downfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver has more shots. Now, if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely good in PvE as well as PvP. It shines a little bit more in PvE, but... Mobius Quiver uh, in PvP is amazing. Um, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and rate it a tier 1 to 1.5 in PvE, but definitely a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvP. Next, Actium War Rig. Turns a perk on this is Auto Loading Link, which steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles or machine guns magazine from reserves now that is actually pretty awesome especially when you go ahead and try to pair that with the monte carlo um probably a little bit better in pve than it is pvp because you really don't get that many rounds in um your machine gun for pvp so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this a uh, tier two in pv um e but probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP. Last but not least, we have Verity of Brow for the Warlock. Transit perk on this is the Fourth Magic, which energy weapon kills boost grenade recharge uh, rate for you and your nearby allies. Now, the fact that you have to have nearby allies you know, close to you for this to work is kind of iffy for me. Uh, but it does have good mobility, um, or at least decent mobility. If I'm correct, I like 13 plus um, on any stat. Uh, so this is a decent exotic, not one of the really 100%. Oh my God, I have to have it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and rate this a tier two uh, in PVE as well as PVP. It's not a bad exotic, but it's not the 100% go to exotic either. Next, we have the Five of Swords, which is Nightfall Challenge card. Invitation to nine, which I probably will never do again. And then last but not least, your exotic engram. And this week, we will get... The 6th Kayo. Now real quick, go ahead and grab these before you pop the uh, exotic engram. If you do not already have them. Because you do have a chance to get one of these inside your exotic engram. 
And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.